couldn't remember the names of the people around me or even get out a sentence properly. A UC Davis graduate who walked the stage today questioned if he would ever make it this far, and that's because the Yuba City native is battling a rare genetic disorder. Instead of letting it steal his hope and his life, it's fueling his passion to help others, saying support can make all the difference for those with chronic illness. Thank you, Uzi Court. Uh, I've been looking forward to this day since I was in high school. She didn't say it now. <laughs> That's how Jeevan Mann felt accepting his bachelor's degree in psychology with an emphasis in biology, a feat he accomplished in just two years. There were points where I didn't know if I'd be able to continue with my career. It was the battle outside of his book studies that posed a greater challenge. In 2016, Jeevan was diagnosed with a brain tumor. The care that I was afforded during that time was something that I believe that all patients should have. I had some of the most supportive doctors and they were extremely caring. A terrifying time became the inspiration for his future career. The tumor was benign, but his health problems were far from over. The classic connective tissue diseases that I have is called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It was 2020 he learned he had EDS, a connective tissue disease affecting every joint in his body, causing issues like severe degenerative arthritis. Extremely rare mutation that at the time there were only, there were less than 10 people in the literature who had that mutation. Bedridden and isolated during the pandemic, it's those dark days that fueled his fight for a better future. Walking the stage. One of the biggest things that has helped me is the support system that I have. Crediting his friends and family for helping him get there. I do believe that my journey as a patient will help me become a better provider in the future. With a vow to use his struggle to help others soar. And in addition to half the time it usually takes to get a bachelor's degree, he's created his own nonprofit called Medical Inspiration. It's where he advocates for other EDS patients, helping them get specialized care, even financial support. He hopes to one day fund research for the disease and maybe even be part of finding that cure. Fantastic job.